In this video, we're going to take a look at time-based movement. A lot of people, when they first start scripting their objects, um, they tend to make something kind of like this, where they sample some input and they modify the position by it. And that can seem to work alright, as we'll see here, but what you might not realize is that the speed of your objects is depending on how fast you're updating, how fast that game loop is going. So we can illustrate this by using a script from a previous Unity tip and trick. And let's drag that over to something smaller, 13, and see what we got. Alright, so that's pretty choppy, but more important, it's pretty slow. If we move that back up, we get the opposite effect. So let's see how we can tame this and make it time-based. Let's think about this in terms of seconds. That's our unit of time. And we'd like to expose this value in the editor, so we'll make this public, float, and um, we could call this speed, but let's be more precise about it. Let's say that this is going to be units per second. Uh, to start with, I'll make it something smallish, say two. Uh, now we know how far we should move for every second that we are moving. However, the amount of time that you spend in a frame is not one second, it's some small fraction of a second. So the unit conversion, the math of what you're going to look at is going to be, you got your units per second, and if we multiply that by the number of seconds that have occurred, what you're going to get left over is the number of units, which is what we want. So in order to do that, We'll go ahead and just make another float here that we'll call units for this frame. And now we're going to have to take our units per second and multiply the number of seconds for this frame to get how many uh, units we should move for this frame. And that time is time dot delta time, which you've probably seen. And the only thing that's left to do is now scale um, how much we're going to move by this amount of time. So we say units for this frame, and let's see what that gets us. Okay, it's pretty slow, but what happens if our frame rate goes down? Hard to tell, but a true test would be to crank this way up. Now it's smooth, but it's definitely not going faster, so I think we pretty much got what we wanted. But if we want to fix the slowness, let's kind of come in here to our object and say we want to move closer to 5.5 per second. That seems to work. 